welcome back to the channel for this double header as we open season number three with a away tie at Stevenage and check out the last episode for all the signings that we have brought in but we'll talk you through some of them once a bit of news is Tari Sonyaki is still at the club still out of contract and still doesn't want to re-sign we didn't get the guy from Hensford for some reason didn't want to join us on loan so we'll deal with it as best we can as for the lineup for this game is going to be Cracknell in goal Murray keeps his place at left back the centre back partnership is new it's Moore and Bennett Chris Moore and Reese Bennett both came in from Premier League clubs Dodds is out there at right back McGregor and Gouda are the two defensive midfielders Bailey Gouda moved up from the centre back role into the defensive midfield role and the three behind the striker is very very familiar it's Bramwell on the left it's Colvin on the right and it's Glynn who is playing behind Stanley Anna Bonham Anna Bonham We'll get there eventually. On the bench, that leaves Nathan Woodthorpe, Harry Williams, Abdi Sharif, Lewis Knight, and Danilo Orsi Dadamo. And hopefully, this is a side that can go out there and provide something for us today and get us three points to start this season. And we are underway here in the opening game of this season. 2,299 people in the ground here to watch Stephen Eze's first home game as this ball comes out to the near side and set it. Looks for for Watmore. Watmore with a shot, and it's wide of the post and Cracknell. 20 seconds into the opening game, fell over, and uh, it's no offence to the real guy. I'm, I'm pretty sure some of this is down to the actual match engine itself, but he does not look like a goalkeeper as Watmore once again. Is that Duncan Watmore? That's one thing I didn't check. I presume it is Duncan Watmore. Yeah, it seems that way. Had two good chances early on here and has provided absolutely nothing, but... We have not provided anything either, and it is a, such a poor start to this game as we follow the selection advice and make a change as Daniel Dodds is struggling and bring on Abdi Sharif for his debut. As we come back into the game a little bit here, but as we approach half time, it's been a pretty dull first half. Two chances for Duncan Watmore, miss the target with both of them, and it is nil nil here at half time. As we push on here, we're trying to create more because, like I said, we created absolutely nothing. Gone slightly more attacking, moved to the 4 4 2 wing play. Hopefully, with Anna Bonham up front, we can find a ball to him. Really, Sharif with a brilliant run here. Gets, I thought he was going to get towards the byline. Pulls it back to Luca Colville. Infield to McGregor. McGregor from distance, that's flying. It's over the bar. As you can tell with the XG match story, we have come back into this game after starting really, really poorly. Steven is starting well, but they've just bottomed out a little bit. As I say that, they're going to score now, aren't they? As Colville heads that ball away. Orsi picks it up, looks for Anna Bonham. Poor ball and Jonas can give it to Setters on that right hand side. Setters turns there towards the touchline. Infield to Jonas. Tinbu. Hands on West. Looks like ball up top for Nichols. Nichols chests it down. It's what a save from Cragnall. I think it was more that he got his body in the way there. But he was in the perfect position. And it keeps Stevenage at bay here. And we were getting back into the game. Kind of fell away a little bit now as Orsi makes the tackle. But Osborne picks up the loose ball into Watmore. Watmore turns between his man. Watmore with a shot. And it. Oh, somehow, and it's put in by Tom Nichols. It somehow stayed out, and Tom Nichols was the quickest to react. Puts the ball into the net, and it is 1-0 here in the opening game of the season. Ball through to Duncan Watmore in between the fullback and centre-back. He gets the shot away. It was blocked, looped over Cracknell, got nowhere near it, and Nichols reacted quickest, put the ball into the net. It's 1-0 to Stevenage with 18 minutes to play. Bramwell. Looks like ball towards Glynn. He's headed away from Sharif now. Into the box. Can he get the shot away? He does. And Abdi Sharif scores on his debut. Seven minutes from time. He equalises. He was at the far post with acres of space. And he just smashes it across the goalkeeper who did not move. It was well worked. Ball in from Woodthorpe. It was headed away from Glynn. Sharif had all the time in the world to just bring it down and fire it into the far corner. It's one all. It's all to play for here with six minutes to go. And there's going to be a kickoff highlight as well. Hopefully... We can win the ball back quickly as Jonas looks long for Nichols and Bennett mops up, gives it to Cracknell and we can rebuild from the back now if Cracknell can decide which way he's going to do it and he puts it straight out to the head of Rue, out to the right side and Watmore. Watmore now will get the cross in towards Nichols. Sheriff heads it away. Roberts heads it back in. Moore can get it away this time. Dodson in to Roberts onto his right foot and Sheriff brings him down and that looked like it was on the edge of the box but a penalty has been given and Abdul Sharif, Abdi Sharif, sorry, after... Getting us back into the game. Gives the penalty away. And Nichols slots home coolly. Two minutes after getting back into the game. It is Stevenage 2. Scarborough 1. And a silly penalty to concede there by Abdi Sharif. And it is 2-1. And now we need to do it all again as Kieran Glynn. Outswinging corner. 
Dewhurst comes and collects it comfortably though and not the ideal start there as he fires it long but Bennett with acres of space can deal with it out to Sharif he looks in film there towards Orsi wins the header for Gregor under pressure looks on for Annabonham and that's a poor ball there setters can take it down fire it back long Nichols wins the header towards Watmore four men forward for Stevenage infield to Nichols Roberts is inside left channel he blazes it wide good chance to seal all three points there for Stevenage it wasn't to be and this game is ending really frantically now as Bennett wins ahead header, but Osborne picks up the loose ball miscontrols it and Orsi nips into it Sharif down the line to Glynn Glynn now will look to try and get the ball into the box gets to the byline does get the ball in and Bonham misses the target what a chance to score on his debut and Stanley Annabonham misses the target all he had to do was just glance that there into the far corner and it finishes Stevenage 2 Scarborough 1 and it's a poor way to start here at the Lamech Stadium defeat on the opening day so here we are for the second game of this episode double header episode for us today we're at home against Torquay and for some reason Torquay is yet to start there's going to be Cracklin and goals. going to be Murray Moore, Bennett and Kelly across the back. McGregor and Hunter as the midfielders. Brown on the left, Colvin on the right. And Glynn plays behind Tyree Sanyaka because for some reason he can play. Yeah, that's very bizarre to me. But let's get into this game. Corner kick to Tin headed away. Brown going to pick it up first though. Back out to Murray. Murray now. Can he get to the body? Does get the body though. Headed away once again. Bennett picks it up. Gives it to Moore. Work back out to the left hand side of Murray again. McGregor. Infield to Moore. Moore with the switchboard out towards Bramwell. Maher's going to get there first, heads it away. Kelly picks it up though. Kelly into the box, gets the ball across. Away and McGregor fires it over the bar. Free kick and he's hit the woodwork and Bird can clear it away and we just don't react quick enough there to the second ball. Bramwell wins that back there. Murray tries to chip it over the top. Marshall though comfortably can bring it down, gives it to Bird. Fired long again. Andrews wins header. Glynn nips into it though. Onyeka back to Kieran Glynn. Kieran Glynn into the box. Kieran Glynn picks up where he left off last season. Another goal for him. Tyrese Onyeka with the assist. And I don't know why he can play, but he can play. We have been very good so far today. On top for the first 25 minutes. And we get the opening goal of the game. Glynn nipped into win it, gave it to Onyeka. And he put it back into the path of the unrushing Kieran Glynn. Into the box, under the goalkeeper. 1 0 to Scarborough Athletic. Free kick out wide on the left hand side. Murray probably too wide to have a shot, I would think. But he does and he goes for it. And it somehow stays out. And I'm not 100% sure what happened there. But it stays out and it remains 1 0. It hit the woodwork. It seemed like for all the world it was going to bounce in and it just didn't. And 20 minutes to play, it's still 1 0. Into the final five minutes of this game here. And hopefully we can pick up a 1 0 victory here in our first home game. And it looks as if we're going to. It's been pretty dull for the most part. But we have done it. Kieran Glynn's goal just inside the half hour mark gives us the 1 0 victory. Wasn't a great performance from us in terms of player ratings. We had 15 shots, 5 on target, a 1.25 XG. We deserve the win because we've restricted Torquay to absolutely nothing. It's three points on the board. And after the first game, I was kind of concerned that we were going to finish this episode with back-to-back -back defeats it's not the case it is a 1-0 victory and we move onwards so two games three points zero goal difference lost 2-1 in the first game 1-1-0 in the second game Kieran Glynn and Abdi Sharif getting the goals in both again we spent it as average 7.45 so far Tyrese Onyeka for some reason can play and has that one assist to his name as well in terms of the schedule we're not going to subject too much this season considering it'll be a lot of the same teams that we played last year so we'll be back for the FA, FA Cup fourth qualifying round in October. We'll play through all of September and we'll come back probably around maybe the Solid or York game. Feature the FA Cup fourth qualifying round in there as well. But Yeovil and Bath in that month as well. And hopefully we can be in a good position by then and build on what we did last season. Mid-table last season. Hopefully we'll be in and around the playoffs this season. But it's going to be a tough ask because we saw Stevenage didn't completely outplay us in that 2-1 victory. They were the better side, but we're not a million miles away with what we've got at the moment. And hopefully we can go onwards. And we don't want to spend too long in this division because this is one hell of a difficult division to get out of. Sorry. And if you've enjoyed today's episode, a lot shorter episode today due to the Christmas break, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you after Christmas, between the Christmas New Year period, for the next episode, which will be the FA Cup fourth qualifying round. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Merry Christmas and goodbye.